Hey, it's Michelle Lavarca again from The Unstoppables. Today we're going to talk about being an active consultant. What does that mean and how do you stay active? The term active consultant in Tupperware means that every rolling six month period that you sell $600. Considering that the average Tupperware party in the United States is around $600, that should be very easy to achieve. But of course, if you join Tupperware to make some money, you're going to want to do a lot more than that, right? So today we're going to talk a little bit about who to ask and how to ask so that you could always be very active in this Tupperware business. A lot of new consultants have told me, I don't have a lot of friends to ask or I don't want to bug my friends and chase them around with a Tupperware catalog. The beauty about this Tupperware business is that you don't have to do that. Tupperware is a networking business. What does that mean? I'll tell you. With Tupperware, we rely on our closest friends and family to start our business out for us. Those are the people that will be holding our first four to six parties for us. Let's say your best friend holds a party for you and she invites 12 of her friends. Chances are that you know some of her friends but that you don't know all of her friends. Let's say one of the friends that you don't know books her own Tupperware party. Chances are you won't know any of her friends and if two of those girls book you won't know any of her friends and so on and so on and so on. See how quickly you can get outside of your circle of friends and family? The goal is to book two parties at every single party or event that you hold. That way you'll never ever ever run out of Tupperware parties and you'll always be in business. Being an awesome consultant is as easy as one, two, one. Hold one party or event every single week, book two new parties from that event, and identify one new person that you could ask to join your Tupperware team at every single event. One, two, one. If you're still not sure how to get started, I'm going to tell you that the person that you should ask to host a Tupperware party for you, his name is Frank. Who's Frank? Frank stands for friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, and kids, friends, parents. Here's my challenge to you. Set your timer for three minutes and write down the letters F-R-A-N-K. Under each category, list as many people as you can that pop up into your mind during that three minutes. Those are the people that you can start with to ask them if they'll do a Tupperware event for you. If you're afraid that you're going to be bugging people by asking them to host a Tupperware party, then you're not thinking of it the right way. Let's change your mindset. Remember, when you host a Tupperware party, not only are you offering a fun night, you're providing the entertainment. You're showing people how to save time and money and waste in their kitchens. You're offering a product that is useful that people will use every day. And your host is getting free stuff, half price stuff, and bonus items. Who wouldn't want to say yes to hosting a Tupperware event? When you go into it with that mindset, people are more likely to say yes. Today I've attached some word choices that you can use when you pick up the phone and call Frank. These word choices are tried and true, but I would practice them a couple of times to make sure that it sounds like something that you're comfortable with. If picking up the phone terrifies you, you're not alone. A lot of people don't like to pick up the phone in this business, and I'm here to tell you, you can still be a very successful Tupperware lady without picking up the phone to ask people to book events and parties. I've also attached to the email today ways to book parties without ever picking up the phone. Again, these messages are tried and true, and they really work, so I wouldn't change the wording, just copy and paste. Wait until you see the results that you're going to get. If you're very interested in doing Facebook parties, I'm also attaching word choices to get people to book Facebook parties. And I'm telling you again, I would copy and paste the message word for word and you're going to be super excited with the results that you're going to get. Let me mention some of the ways that you can sell Tupperware besides just the party. Of course, the party is a great way to always be meeting new people and people are more likely to purchase from you when they can touch, taste, and feel 
at the party. You can also host your own Tupperware party. Invite some girlfriends over and show them all the things that are in your kit. Get really excited about it and they can book parties for you after they see all the incredible products that Tupperware has to offer. Did you know that Tupperware also has a fundraiser line? The fundraiser line is incredible because 40% of every single item that is sold 40% goes back to the individual or the organization that you're holding the fundraiser for. It's really an incredible program and there's lots of small groups and large groups out there that need to raise money. This is an easy way to raise money where the customers are going to purchase products that have a lifetime warranty. Of course, several times I've mentioned the Facebook parties. I do lots of Facebook parties and I have a lot of experience and a lot of training for you. If you're interested in hosting Facebook parties, I'll help you out there as well. And finally, you can stay active by just simply collecting orders. You can have a catalog party where you just pass catalogs around your office or around your neighborhood or to your friends and family. You can also have friends do the same thing. They can take their catalog to work and pass it around and collect orders as well. So as you can see, there's a ton of different ways to sell Tupperware. It's going to be super easy for you to remain an active consultant. And I'll be here to help you with anything that you need.